guys welcome to my channel this is aries i have a message for you today super excited to share um what's been happening in my life and how what's happening in my life literally correlates with the scriptures okay um i give up everything for jesus i give up everything for jesus not one, but this is the second time I gave it up, all right? I gave up my job for Jesus. I gave up my trust in whatever they were going to give me, trading my time for money. I gave my job up for Jesus, okay? So the Lord ended up leading me to do that, but I'm about to, ex I'm about to put it down and explain to you how what's happening now, what I'm doing now, it happened in the scriptures before, and I want to give you guys an example of um basically what's going on in my life okay so this story is how um jesus walked on the water all right so basically jesus had this is after they had fed the five thousand people jesus had um told the disciples to go get on a boat and jesus went to go pray jesus came back jesus the boat was far right so what happened was I, i'm gonna start at matthew 14 25 y'all with me it says shortly before dawn jesus went out before them walking on the lake when the disciples saw him walking on the lake he was walking on the water he was walking on the water i really believe this like y'all people who are not christians they be like uh, how can somebody do that i believe jesus really walked on the water bro i believe jesus walked on the water Okay, so anyways, when the disciples, okay, so when the disciples saw him walking on the lake, they were terrified. Wouldn't you be scared if you see somebody walking on the water? What? They thought it was a ghost. They said, and they cried out in fear. They were scared for their lives. Like, whoa, what is this? This is a ghost. This is crazy. So 27, it says, but Jesus immediately said to them, take courage. It is I. He said, don't be scared. It's me. Don't be afraid. He says, Lord, in 28, it says, Lord, if it's you, Peter said, Peter said, Lord, if it's you, tell me to come to you on the water. Let me stop there. There might be something God is telling you to do. My thing that God told me to do was quit my job. Okay. He told me to quit my job. He gave me a vision and I had a vision and I was like, I was like, Lord, is this, is, did you say, did you, in this, did this dream mean for you to, for me to quit my job? And then the next day he sent me another dream and told me and gave me a clear dream that said quit. This is the exact same thing how Peter did. God showed me the scripture and this scripture correlates with my, with me quitting my job. Okay. So he said, he said, tell me to come to you on the water if it's if this is you. And Jesus said, come. That's like me, how I said, Jesus, if this is you, tell me, tell me that to quit my job. If you say quit my job, let me quit my job. Immediately after he gave me the second dream, Monday, I think it was a day, two days later, that morning I put in my I put in my two week notice because he actually told me to put in my two week notice. He didn't tell me to quit on the spot. He said put in your two week notice. So I put in my two week notice that morning without any fear, without any, with total faith. In total faith, I did that right. So he says, "Tell me to come," and he, and he said, "Come." Then Peter got down off the boat walked on the water and came forward to jesus you see what happens when you have faith you can be on the same you you're in the same mind you're in the same spirit as jesus when you obey when you when you believe when you have faith you can walk on water with jesus that's what peter did he walked on water with jesus and what this kind of represents for me is like it's like jesus said come on quit your job and I said, for real, God? He said, come. I said, okay. And I put, and I did it. And now it's been a week now, but, and I did it. I did it. I was like, wow, I did it. I did it. Oh my God, I did it. I did it. Wow. wow. So, um, so then this will happen. All right. This will happen, y'all. Y'all with me, Matthew 14, 30. It says, but when he saw the wind, he was afraid and begin to sink. 
cry out, Lord, save me. This is what happened. Okay, so I quit my job. Of course, that's scary. I had so much faith. But then when time was almost near, or I think it was like a day or two after I quit, I started to feel like so many different things. The enemy tried to attack me with so many different things. I'm telling you already. And it was just like, oh my God, this, uh, excuse my language. I was like, man, this is too much. This is too much. Like, this is hard. You know, what am I going to do? You feel me? No job, no plan, vision, purpose. I know my purpose. I know my. I know what God showed me that I'm going to be doing. So, you know, it's time to produce, which is beautiful. But I was like, I just quit my job on the spot with two-week notice, okay? So that's what happened to me. This is why God showed me this scripture. Because when I started fearing, when I started worrying, when I started doubting, that's when I sunk. That's when that was the metaphorical sunk. How how Peter sunk. Peter sunk because he saw the winds come. That doubt, that fear that you have is wind. When doubt and fear come, that that can break your house down. That's that that if you don't if you don't have if you're not planted on Jesus Christ, if you're not planted on the rock, if you're not planted on the word of God, when a little faith, when a little doubt, when a little worry and a little stress come, man, you your house going to fall. You feel me? That's exactly what the scripture says. That's what's going to happen. And that's what almost happened to me um it didn't really it, I, it if i didn't have god bro i'd be i'd be some somewhere else you feel me that's what i'm trying to say so like that's what happened to peter when a little bit of wind came bro he sunk and he started crying and immediately jesus reached out this is this is, reminds me just so much of me and what happened i'm pretty sure 100 percent that you can relate to this that in a situation could happen in your life like this um Jesus immediately reached out for his hand and caught him and said, you little faith, he said, why did you doubt? God said, why did you doubt? This is exactly what happened to me. God said, why did you doubt? Why you told, I told you to do something. You believed me. You had faith and then you doubted. That's exactly what happened. And I, and I don't want you to stop what God has for you. I don't want you to stop doing what God pushing you to do because of a little doubt and a little fear. Don't say, I can't. Don't say, I can't do this and I can't do that. Don't say that. Jesus loves you, but um, yeah, that's what happened to me. That's what happened to me. I was like, whoa, this is too much. Whoa, whoa, whoa. And um, it got scary. It did, just like Peter in the wind. That's scary. You out there on the water, you walking on the water. Of course, that's scary, you know? And Jesus said, bro, why do you have doubt? Why you doubt? Why you have little faith? Jesus said, bro, I got you. I love you. He said, I got you. I love you. He reached out for Peter and he took him and he caught him in the midst of him crying in the midst of his worry. Can anybody relate to that? Because I know that I sure can. <laughs> I know that I sure can. So um, that's exactly where I'm at in my life right now. I'm just going to be transparent with you guys and tell you the truth. Um, no, I don't have a plan. Am I free? Am I happy? Yes. Look where I'm at right now. Look where I'm at. Look at this beautiful scenery. Am I happy? Yes, I am. Worry? Do I stress sometimes? Yes. Do I? Am I afraid sometimes? Yes, I am. Yes, I am. That's scary. Where well, am I gonna get the money, Jesus? You gonna pay my bills? <laughs> he gonna pay my bills. You feel me? I trust in him. I trust in him 100% because I gave up everything for him and he has to take care of me. He has to fulfill his promises to me because I'm his disciple. I'm his child, you feel me? And you are too, and you have to have so much faith. You have to have that faith. You have to have that faith so much that when, when the world is putting you down, when you're at a job that you hate, when you're at a job that you hate and they're treating you bad, you have to have so much faith to ask Jesus, like, bro, can I leave? That's not what happened to me. That might happen to you. You might hate your job. Leave. You a child of God. You don't deserve to be unhappy. You don't deserve to be stressed. You don't deserve to worry. Why are you still in that relationship? God been told you to leave. But why are you still at that job and God been told you to leave? Why are you still doing the same thing and Jesus been told you to leave? You need to have faith. You need to have faith so you can walk in your purpose, so you can have peace and joy, so you can finally do what God has called you to do. You feel me? And sometimes we can be like Peter. Sometimes we might step out and then be like, whoa. But at the end of the day, Jesus got us still. Nothing that happens to us can destroy us. We gave it up for Jesus.
Jesus says that nobody, nobody who gave up, who gives up your mother, your daughter, your house, your land, your money, no matter what it is, nobody who gives up anything for him will not get a hundredfold back. You will get a hundredfold of what you gave up for Jesus. You will get a hundredfold for that and eternal life. Jesus loves you. I love you. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you're encouraged. God bless you. Step out on faith. Step out on faith. Step out on faith. Truly, he is the son of God. God bless you guys. Have a blessed day. Well, have a blessed week and a blessed life. See y'all later.